wow, it is a Saturday morning in uh, the beautiful Midwest. David with Beyond the Blast Wars here with you, and there's Jesse behind me. He's opening up his Lego set, and there's David. And uh, we have basically four or five Lego sets laying around. So we thought, why not just build these things? So uh, hope you enjoy what we're about to do. We're going to build for probably the next hour, hour and a half. Uh, if you have any comments, just we just want to hang out. So if you have uh, any time to drop a comment, say hi, or uh, maybe you have a Lego set that you want to build. Well, pull up a chair and start building with us, and we'll have a good time. I'm going to build uh, Vader's Transformation. This is from... Uh, a few years ago, this is actually when Rogue One dropped. Um, so I'm looking forward to finally putting this thing together because um, I'll get the burned Anakin Skywalker figure, which I've never had before. And I finally have an Emperor Palpatine with a lightsaber. So that's pretty cool. Um, if you can do me a favor, when you start watching this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up on our video and uh, share on your social media. You know, we just kind of want to expand the audience. It's always, to have more, it's always fun to have more people part of the conversation. Jesse, what are you building right now? Um, I've got a... We tried to make a trip out, out to Walmart last night for some of the new Han Solo sets that were supposed to drop yesterday. And our Walmart is a disappointment because they only had one set. I mean, I'm happy about it because it's got some clone troopers in it. It's the uh, clone trooper battle pack. It's got a uh, Barris Offy and is that Keati? Yeah. Mundi? And be sure when we're, and, and guys, since our, our new streaming device is all the way over here, we're going to talk louder. Uh, so that way we can make sure that when you're home watching us, you can hear us really well. And then David is building Krennic Shuttle. And this thing is a monstrosity. I got a little Krennic already. Look at this. David already got uh, Krennic put together with a little blaster and everything. Very movie accurate, if you ask me. So there's that. And then, of course, here's the box. And it's probably one of the best ships from Rogue One. It's definitely one of the best ship designs that we've seen uh, in this Disney era. I think of Kylo Ren's shuttle from The Force Awakens. I think of this shuttle here. And then I don't think of any other ships. So <laughs> Don't forget about it. Oh, yeah. So Nick left this tank behind when we were... Uh, uh, left this tank behind when he was still doing the show and he was still living down the hallway. And uh, he left it here. And he even left me with Alo Secura. So uh, either Jesse and I... Jesse or I will build this one. Um, we'll see. But this will be a nice little piece that we'll put on the set. Well, I think all these but Chronic Shuttle will be staying on the set. Well, no, he's going to take his. So these two will stay on set. So we're pretty excited about that. So I'm going to slide these over here. And then I'm going to uh, go get the iPad so I can monitor this chat uh, over here on set. Jesse, would you mind explaining uh, why of all the sets available, I mean, aside from the fact that Walmart didn't have a selection, uh, why was this battle pack something that you were looking forward to? Uh, for me... I kind of missed the whole Clone Wars, Lego bandwagon kind of thing. Um, I'm kind of putting together a, uh, I want a, kind of a scrolling theme, like you're going to have a little bit of something from Phantom Menace, a little something from Clone Wars, a little something from Revenge of the Sith, and so on, just kind of like a little theme. Uh, just something I'm kind of prepping for, like um, moving out and getting my own uh, place again, just kind of like nice display pieces. So... It's nice to have a, you know, a couple clones running around. That's part of the reason why I picked this up. Um, I was actually kind of hoping that there would be a TIE Fighter there, the new one. And again, our Walmart uh, seemed to not have gotten that product in, or at least it wasn't on the shelf yet. So Definitely, it was kind of, kind of a bummer. You going to crack it open? Well, I was hoping to open chat feed here. Which no, I, I'm going to monitor that on my phone. Oh, you, you got that? Okay. Yeah, you just build. David, uh, so so this is, how, tell me how you build because I usually just dump the pieces out. It looks like you like to organize them. I, I do. Half the battle of Legos is figuring out where the heck the pieces are. So I, I separate them by color at the very least, sometimes by type. I was bored kind of waiting for you guys to finish getting the lights. I'm not tall enough to get the light switches when the lights are up high. So um, I just sorted them by color. So I got my reds, my blues, my tans, my uh, two shades of gray. And uh, I don't know, it just makes it a little easier when I'm trying to put it all together. Because this is a smaller set. I'm going to go full distance yeah, and he, pull my parts out. I've got seven bags in my box. <laughs> is that just a one-bagger? Uh, two-bagger. Two-bagger. The last Lego set that I put together actually was um, Luke's Octu hut. Uh, I was actually disappointed in the initial uh, build of it, and uh, I bought two of them, 
and merge them together, adding a few extra bricks that I had laying around so it actually folds open. So it's actually like a complete, uh, complete hut. I'm a little heartbroken. My mother moved a few years ago, and uh, when she did, all of my childhood Legos disappeared. And, oh. Uh, I had some cool sets. I had some of the pirate ones. I had some of the castle ones. Those are my two favorites. And uh, I, I feel you on that one because... Uh, my brothers and I were heavily into Legos. We had this um, this Rubbermaid container. I think it was maybe about, it would be like three feet tall. Just a big old round barrel. And uh, I mean, we're talking, we had castle Legos, we had the old space Legos, pirate Legos. Mm -hmm. uh, this thing was filled to the brim. And for whatever reason, my mom decided, and I also had a lot of the, uh, the first gen Star Wars Lego sets. Oh. Um, and short story is she felt sorry for a friend or something like that. They didn't have a lot of money. The kids didn't have a lot of toys. So she's like, oh, you know, like my kids are kind of outgrown Legos. So she rounded up like 98% of every Lego in the house and uh, gave them away. Um, and then we're talking like I had some these some of these things were actually sitting on a shelf in my room as display pieces like, Oh, and she did that. Yeah, I mean she, I was just like Like I got home. I was like, why is my shelf so empty and like oh I get I'm like what? you know like I was a little heartbroken and like some of those sets now. I mean money wise are um, yeah. yeah, they're worth quite a bit. We had a the Black Knight's Castle, and it had the, um, the ramp base plate. Oh, that and, sounds cool. Yeah, it was a really nice set. Um, and uh, today, if you get on eBay, that's like, mm, I want to say it, complete with everything there, it's going to run you probably anywhere between 150 and $250. Now, is that for a completed set or a brand new set? Uh, I don't think any of these exist brand new in the box at this okay. point. Um, I think... There might be some out there in some guy's basement. Uh, possibly. But, uh, yeah, I was definitely a little heartbroken uh, over it. Um, especially having that, uh, that X-Wing. That X-Wing was really a nice piece. The only Star Wars set I remember having as a kid was a snow speeder from Hoth. And it came with a little Luke Skywalker mm -hmm. and it had the blue lightsaber with it. I remember just thinking that was so cool. Um, it it wasn't a big one, it was about this big. All said and done. David, how are we doing on... Uh on that chat feed. Uh, I'm going to get to it in a second. I'm still trying to share the video. Ah, uh, sounds good, buddy. Yeah, you let me do my job. You do your job and build, bro. What's your typing over, over there? I well, I'm really seeing uh, we're getting bubble chat bubbles on the on the camera here, and it's killing me that I can't read them. Well, your, your, your job is to build. <laughs> <laughs> I promise we'll get to the comments and questions in a second here, guys. That's not your promise to make. It's mine. Shut the fuck Heidi loves you. <laughs> Is Heidi the one on the other side of the wall? Yeah. Oh, she's the one that works with you at, uh, uh -huh. in the frame department, right? Yeah, you bet. But she seems like a sweetheart. Well, she's hilarious. I love Heidi. The few times I've talked to her. Um, well, I had the original uh, Slave One. I remember that. Cause you uh, just got your new Slave One. Yeah. Um, How many pieces was that sucker? The UCS uh, Slave One was it's like 1,995 pieces. Uh, I was a little heartbroken because Amazon shipped it to me without a protective box. So the box got. So the actual up. box was exposed, and there was puncture marks uh, and everything. And I was originally planning on doing a live stream on my own uh, uh, channel, that's a different story, but uh, 
the end result was is I ended up staying up a couple extra hours just kind of trying to determine if all the pieces and parts were there because I mean if you drop 200 bucks on a UCS you yeah. know set you want to know if it's all there so I, I really was concerned because some of those holes were large enough that yeah, you know, they were in the bag yeah Oof. but I mean like what if I lost a bag though kind of thing or, you know, it's, so that that was my my concern um, total collective time that was I think 15 hours to put together and the thing is massive it's like uh, I want to say like two and a half of palm length like from palm to my uh, middle finger like it's it's decently sized it's got probably the coolest Boba Fett figure with it obviously it's it's got all like the markings on his like shoulders and priorities right yeah, pretty much. Now, what does UCS stand for? Why, Ultimate why is, Collector Series. Ultimate Collector Series. And that's cooler than a regular... Like, do they make both an UCS and a regular? They have. There, There is a regular uh, Slave 1 from... I want to say five, five years. I might be longer. Forgive my timeline on that. They had, um, they had Boba's uh, Slave 1. They did a Django Fett Slave 1. Um... A lot of people are actually wanting a UCS version of Django Fett's Slave One. Mm -hmm. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be awfully tempting for me, as everybody knows, I'm a Mandalorian nut. Yep. Now, when we say you're a Mandalorian friend, I think it's almost like an unhealthy addiction. But like, we're here for you. Like, we really are. Don't be jealous. Oh, I'm, it's it, there's no jealousy. I think I, I think you are. There's no. And there's times you want to put the helmet on. Kind of sounds. <laughs> Sounds just... Oh my gosh. It is nice to finally be able to sit down and see everybody. I was trying to share everything on social media. And uh, comments with... Be Alright, so we have Ryan Bullock who was in the chat earlier. Uh, he had to step out, but he says his Walmart is a disgrace as well. Uh, but I was able to find Vintage Collection First Order Trooper yesterday at Target. Uh, don't have a Target in the Midwest. And well, not where we live in the Midwest. Uh, St. Louis, is St. Louis the closest for a Target? It's a two-hour drive. Yeah, like, it's exactly yeah, yeah. two minutes to the nearest Target in St. Louis. Uh, I think they might have one in Springfield, too. Uh, Dragon Bricks Productions, he's a guy that does, like, stop-motion Lego films. He did, uh, he put in for our 300 subscriber contest. Yes, he did. Yeah. He, uh, hey, he, uh, he's hanging out for a little bit. I, I'm blowing up the chat more than everyone else. This is kind of funny. And then, uh, Comics with Bueller is a cool dude, uh, from YouTube. He has his own, uh, YouTube channel where he does comic book reviews, and then he does this show, um, comic, it, 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 he has guests that don't like comic books, <laughs> but then he talks about how great comic books are, and so, like, Starts to change their mind? Yeah, like, no, but, like, Jeff, Jeff was, like, the guy, the guest for, like, the first two episodes, and he just was, like, not having it, uh, and it was the funniest thing, and I think it's why, uh, Bueller's fa uh, YouTube channel has gone from, like, zero to 350 in literally, like, five weeks. <laughs> I mean, the growth is ridiculous, so, I know the comic book community is eating that up, and as they should, uh, let's see here. He also coming in, yeah. Okay, so uh, Bueller is actually covering Wizard World right now. Oh, fun! Uh, uh, Portland. Portland. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I'm jealous of that. And Jason Inman, who used to work for DC All Access, he's now doing his own thing. He's there this weekend, and there's a Star Wars shop in Oregon, and uh, I, I I had seen a post that Bueller had made, and uh, then like. Two days later, I see Jason Inman post this photo of, hey, I found the Star Wars store. And I was like, oh my gosh, wow, like, worlds converging upon themselves. <laughs> so it was pretty cool. Um, Bueller is covering that event today, so he'll probably have some video, maybe uh, video interviews, photos. He'll have something on the Portland, Oregon Wizard World. Looking forward to that. Ryan's just saying hi. Really enjoy the podcast. I'm a new subscriber and glad you found us. I'm glad you found us, Ryan. It means so much that you subbed us up. We're at 575 right now, and we're hoping to hit 600. It'd be really cool to hit 600 by the end of the month. If we did that, that would mean 600 subs in our first year. Uh, we're about across 40,000 channel views, which is pretty cool. It used to mean something before YouTube changed the algorithm. You know, like, it's, it's, you know, it's it meant tough, something. It's a tougher uh, live streaming, um, VODs, podcasts, it, it's definitely not as easy. Um, but it's still possible. You just got to put the hard work into it and the time. And 
We are grinding. Um, Goomba213 joins us now. What up, guys? Looks like a fun afternoon. You know, it is a fun afternoon when you just literally get to set up shop and just start building Legos. It's like, it's a really good deal. I'm going to go ahead and open up my box. Um, Comics with Bueller. The Star Wars shop owner is a longtime friend. Well, then, uh, if that's the case, man, I got a few things that I'm on the hunt for. And if you could help me, you can help him help me. That'd be awesome. Okay, so I've got all my parts uh, spread out. This is gonna probably. Why did you spread out your parts? You're, you're, oh, you're just trying to eat up time. I am. You don't have that long of a <laughs> bill. Is there a, I, I'll, I've watched some of these live builds on YouTube before. Is there a protocol for how you open your Lego box? Because some people take like really good care of the boxes, and I just don't care. Well, like for storage purposes, like you know, that's what I was talking about. For storage purposes, I really wanted to keep the UCS uh, box, you know, in case I decided to dismantle the thing. Okay. Um, so here's my question with the UCS, because I heard you guys talking about it a moment ago. Uh, I'm a big fan of the UCS, but to me, those are true shelf pieces. Like I would never want to take those apart. Like, like I build those once. And I that that would be it. Like this set, I'll take I'll take this apart and I'll I'll rebuild this if I ever wanted to. But like the UCS, I feel like you should like hot glue those pieces together oh, so that no. thing is indestructible. No, I, I feel like that actually uh, degrades value on anything like that. What do you mean the value? You bought it. You're not gonna sell it again. It's for you. Yeah. What if I die though and somebody my family wants to sell it? That's a little morbid, I know, but uh, like look at the history, Jesse. They'll probably just give it away to somebody who wants it. Yeah. And there's that. Sorry, but, Mom. <laughs> but like, see now this is this is what I don't get about some fans, and Jesse, you would be one of these fans. Got bear softly done here. I don't understand. Like, let's say you die in like twenty five years. Mm -hmm. Twenty five years, more than likely, people just want to own this set. They don't care if it's built or or in pieces. I, at that point, they just want to have it for their collection. You can't worry about them. You have to worry about you. Or I could just be buried with it, like kings of old, all my my loot. <laughs> Justin, you're going to be buried in your Mandalorian armor. I actually, uh, funny, funny. I know this might sound like a morbid thing, but yeah, I actually do. Uh, suddenly just became very morbid. Like, uh, but I also have a, uh, I have, uh, Rob Stark's, uh, longsword from Game of Thrones on my wall, too, so I want to be buried with that. Like, so, you know, just imagine being, like, 500 years down the road, you know, some archaeologist digs me up, thinking he's got the find of the century. You know, and you like open it up, and here's like this armor and a sword. There's gonna be a little flash drive hanging there, and it's gonna be a video of me going, "You're an idiot! I just trolled you hardcore." Oh no, no, no! This is when you <laughs> create your own religion, Jesse. <laughs> Greetings from beyond the grave. <laughs> Welcome to Beyond the Blast Doors. They now Beyond the Grave uh, podcast. All right, so I have I have not done what these two goons did. I uh, amateur. I just dumped all my pieces out because that's how I that's how I do it. The other, but you know, my only complaint about these battle packs, yeah, is the difference between when I was a kid. You know, they had these when I was a kid, but like, you know, they would actually come with actual like rifles or something or bows and everything, and now they have these little stud launcher things, and it's not that they're Bad, but I, I definitely would have preferred them giving me uh, little Lego blasters for the uh, clone troopers instead of the, the stud blasters. You know they stopped doing that like seven years ago, right? I know, I'm a little behind schedule. I've got one clone trooper down. These guys are nice. It's, it's phase one clone trooper. I'm trying to scoot. So because of Jesse, just the positioning of everything, you're not really going to see how I'm my progress in my building, so I'll just try and... Just lift it up and show you guys how I'm doing. Um, oh, there's new. So the Vader helmet's new. That's kind of cool. This set was also it came out during Rogue One era. So like, it's a nice set. I I actually have that set. That's the the set that I picked up for my Revenge of the Sith uh, moment. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's it's a fun build. I think you'll like it. It'll help. What's wrong? I already screwed up. It's Look, fixable. It's a trap. My uh, favorite thing about uh, reading the comics right now is the fact that they're on Mon Cala for both Vader and for the Star Wars mainline. So in 46, yeah. you have Raddus, uh, you have Raddus, um, 
Akbar and Lee Char around a table just talking. Did you drop a Lego? I did. Oh, I got it. Well. Can't do that. But it fired. But they have like all the um, all those guys together, and it just it just makes me so happy because it's like. <clears throat> I was gonna say, uh, like when we were recording last night, I was like, that's kind of nice timing. Like they. Uh, you know, Vader 14 came out with these events, like, and then you've got, what was it, Star Wars 46? Yeah. Wasn't Charles Soule writing both of them right now? No, Charles Soule is writing Poe Dameron, oh, and Dameron. he's writing Darth Vader. So, I just looked at it, I was like, oh, that's kind of, like, nice, because we're kind of seeing the reason why. Right. You know, like, they're hesitant to join the Rebellion. Yes, such a good issue. So that's cool. I I guess I didn't realize this, but the the Darth Vader Lego helmet now is two pieces. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see, Goomba. What kits are you guys building? Dump them out. Makes it harder to find all the pieces. Takes longer. You know what? That's what I say. That's how I like to approach it. Um, Goomba, I am building right now Darth Vader's transformation. It's a set from around 2016. Um, this was uh, part of the Rogue One slate that came out. And it's that scene where Darth Vader obviously is constructed. Um, it's a little bit more elaborate than the original version that came out. The original version, uh, I threw my box over there so it's not worth picking up, but the original version of Vader's transformation was literally Darth Vader on this like flat piece and it rotated and then you had the Emperor. But this one, you're actually building like an entire base around with different robots and different tools and you're really building like a set uh, where this scene takes place in the movie. So it's pretty cool. Miss Hustle is joining us. Ooh, Lego time. Fun. Miss Hustle, I don't know if you got them Legos, but if you got them Legos, bust them out. Start building with us. Uh, having a good time. Miss um, um, Hustle hangs out with us a lot, doesn't she? Well, Miss Hustle is a fan of the show because uh, she's not, like, the most knowledgeable about Star Wars, but she is now because she's watching the show all the time and she's learning, which is pretty cool. Um, I've got the... Uh... We tried to pick up some of the new Han Solo sets that we're supposed to launch. Uh, I mentioned it earlier, our, Han, our Walmart is terrible. Uh, the only new one that they had was the Clone Trooper we're Battle Pack. We're going to get assist from Walmart. I know, right? Yeah. With Vera Safi and Kiati Mundi. Um, you heard a, like a rumor that our Walmart was behind, uh, just on stocking, possibly? Yes. So we're probably going to have to check that out later today. Uh, because I really want some of those newer sets. I love, it's, what I really like are the new speeders. Uh, if you've seen the Han Solo trailer, the teaser trailer, you know that there is some sort of speeder chase in the movie. Han has his speeder. Um, there is the Stormtrooper security uh, speeder. There is uh, that gangster's speeder. So there's three of them. Uh, the Imperial one is a battle pack, yeah. which is pretty sweet. So... I honestly, in a perfect world, I'd like to pick up like two or three, pick up a Han Solo, pick up uh, one of the gangster one, and you can do like a cool diorama maybe, like a city street with those. Um, something that I want to do in 2018 is I want to pick a scene from a Star Wars movie and do a, mock. a 180 mock yeah. where it'd be like, you know, street side. Like, you know what would be really cool? So like we talked about Star Wars 46 just a second ago about how much David and I liked that comic. The very first page is these Imperial walkers just destroying the surface of Mon Cal. How cool would it be? Because I have an at, -AT I have an at -ST. How cool would it be on the front of the set if we built, like, a little Mon Cal thing? Set. Yeah, and we, you know, built a diorama. Maybe that's what we do, is the centerpiece for our table now becomes a Lego diorama. <laughs> You're laughing, but I'm pathetic enough to do it. <laughs> I need these droid legs. So there's that. Need the droid arms. Droid arms. Did you look at the new TIE Fighter, though? I did. I like the uh, way they designed the wings. They're a little yeah, bit more reinforced. Mm -hmm. they're, uh, they're bigger. There's just, you know, keeping in mind, you know, between, you know, X-Wings and Millennium Falcons, we're getting a different version every year since Disney took over. I mean... You had the 2015 model that I have. Uh, we talked about this on the show, too. Then you have the UCS version that came out last year, which is, you know, $800. Now you're getting a Millennium Falcon for the Han Solo movie. You know, I'm getting Millennium Falcon fatigue so far to date. I think there's, like, if you include all the micro, mini, medium-sized Lego sets for the Falcon, 13 
12 or 13 unique Millennium Falcon sets oh, wow. since 2000. That's a lot. That's that's a lot. Um, but, you know, hey, we keep buying them, so. Uh, Miss Hustle, I thought Walmart was behind everything, LOL. <laughs> uh, there's a good chance, you know. Uh, I, I, I like Target. Target's usually where I go. Well, um, it feels like... I f- Our Walmart, like, being in Quincy, the thing about being here in the Midwest is uh, it seems like we always get stuff a little later than, like, your major cities. You know, like, it just... That's how it's always been around here. Jesse's, like, the native. The native. He's, like, always lived here and regretted it. Well, hell, I have extra pieces. You don't have extra... You're so like, oh, wow, you're... All right, you're moving right along. I have this droid now. That's exciting, so... There's a droid. A really interesting reuse of the uh, battle droid legs and the arms. They're just black. Yeah, see, that's what I enjoyed about that set you're putting together, is that they're not, like, a pre-established minifig... Like, I think that one is, but, like, they get a few of the other, like, room droids that are, uh, the ones that are actually built. So, this is funny. So, uh, Jordan is watching, uh, on the, on the live stream right now. He's a buddy of ours. A buddy of mine. But he was my college roommate. Uh, he knows things about me that very few people know. And, uh, he and I, I bought my, the very first purchase I bought when I got to Linwood, when I transferred colleges in 2013, I guess it was. I bought myself the Republic gunship that's right here behind me, and he bought the London Bridge, like that $300 massive London Bridge set. We built that in our dorm room. It was pretty epic. Uh, Jordan, I am building this Lego set right now, but uh, I'll, I will build another set, and you and I can get together and build. Jesse, well, you're closer to the camera than I am. You want to show that off? Sure. That's, what, uh, what here? that's bag one of my Krennic shuttle. That's what I'm building. And uh, looks like some sort of a uh, inner module part of it. Um, the final product will have, of course, all the plating all over it. But I'm guessing that uh, Director Krennic's probably going to sit somewhere up here. This is Director Krennic's shuttle after yep. it gets blown up. Hey Jesse, um, I just dropped it Lego like by your left foot. Can you grab that for me? It's a it's a very critical piece. It's not really by your left foot. You're making me bend over. Thank you very much. Got it. Uh, down here. So Miss Hustle is in Canada, and says that Canada is behind us. Where's Can? Uh, where in Canada? Where's Canada? That's Miss Hustle, question. where do you where, live in Canada, in Canada? If you don't mind sharing with us. Also, shout out to all six people watching us right now on the live stream. Be sure you comment down below if you haven't already. Just let us know that you're you're, you're watching. If you can, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. You got people who like Star Wars, or Legos, share them. Uh, and as always, don't tell my mother that this is what I do with my free time. Okay. Oh, I should probably take her off speaker phone then. Yeah, don't, don't disappoint Betty. Don't do it. Hey, with your disappointment. Um. <laughs> all right, let's all felt that. We've all felt that. Thanks, guys. I I love the support here. It's it's healthy. All right. So I'm starting to make uh, some quick progress with my set here. Um. Usually that it's it's those droid minifigures that take a little time to put together just because you have to sift through all the stuff. Because the way I build, you know, I just dump it out, I sift. But uh, we're starting to make a little progress here. I can tell your sifting is spreading more and more towards my Legos. Listen, if you want to complain about this, <laughs> would have been challenged. But if we took all our sets and threw them all together, that would have been the worst been... decision. That would be all. That, that would increase the build time. You're so worried about the build time. All right, so I need the long red. I don't know. I think that would have been kind of fun. <laughs> My sets. How many pieces do your set have, uh, Jesse? Oh, this is the largest set. Uh, it's 102 pieces. I was gonna say mine's like 863. I think what I'm building is like a little mini like gunship speeder. So this is really cool. Uh, this is a piece that I've never seen before. I don't know if you can see that, Jesse. If you want to put that up in the camera, it's a V piece. And this is a, what allow, will allow for my set to have a circular image because I'll put them, you know, next to that and then, you know, it'll complete the circle all the way around. So I've never seen that before. That's pretty cool. Actually, you know what's another fun, uh, fun one to put together? No, but I bet you're about to tell me. I will. Um, the carbon freezing chamber. I, so Walmart still has that one. I'm really thinking about getting it. It's, it's nice. You, you get a nice Boba Fett figure. Obviously, you get a, a, a not 
uh, with it, which is kind of cool. Han Solo, and you get the you know, Han and Carbonite. I'm really thinking about doing it. I really am. Oh, is that all you gotta do? I'm gonna put this together with a lickety split here. I, bet I would do anything for love. I, I bet. I uh, finish my bill before I fin uh, you finish yours. Well, <laughs> um, if you want me to tell you how I really feel right now, I can do that. <laughs> Gotta find, okay, so there's this black piece. You guys see the abuse I take from him? It's not really abuse, it's just kind of making sure you know your place. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So you only knew how bad that David and I abused you. It's <laughs> like we're really pre recorded Yeah, you know, I wish I really could show you the behind the scenes of our show, but it would offend so many people. I'm, it, it, it would be offensive. We have a fantastic it's, it's not banter. Family. It's not family, it's not family it really friendly. Isn't. It really isn't, but it's a fantastic banter, like pre-recording and it happens every week families that talk to each other the way that we do they usually ends with divorce you know <laughs> usually ends up with a hate child you know i'm not trying to inspire anything in your family i want you to be happy but god you guys <laughs> all i love here all right so what did i do here i already flooded something oh okay so i have these two all right so with my set, I have to, I'm building these in like in quadrants. So I just built these two pieces here. They are going to attach to this piece here. So now you can start to see uh, this circular platform, that platform that I'm building. You can kind of see that take shape. Uh, Jordan says, love you, buddy. Jordan, I have no problem with... Someone just texted me. Um, Jordan, we will build. But we also have to grill on your new deck. You know, you, Jamie, beer, brats, Legos. Is that permissible? It's pro they probably can't have Legos around the girls yet, right? They're, they're not old enough. We'll get them the Blagos or what? The Mega Blocks. The Mega Blocks, yeah. yeah. I don't know what the hell I was just trying to say. Um, shout out, if anyone's watching at the uh, Fantasy Shop right now, uh, haven't gotten confirmation from David yet or anyone there at the shop, but... Um, there's a good chance that you guys have us on the stream right now. I know. I think, I think there is a, a Destiny tournament today. Don't they open at 11? Or is it earlier? 11? What time is it? It's like almost noon. Yeah. I would do anything for love. Jordan says any time. Jordan, how, 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 how bored are you right now? Like, are you, I, Jordan, I'm imagining you're just like staring at the monitor watching me do this. I hope that's not the case. I, I think most people have us in the background right now. No, the, the soothing, echoey sound of our voices. Making cinnamon rolls on a Saturday morning. Uh, yeah. See, that's what we should have done. Listen, don't, don't complain. Like, we're having a good time, and then the moment someone suggests something more fun to do, you're like, no, well, that's what we should have done. Well, no, we, we, he's mentioned it last night, you know, we should, you know, get some cinnamon rolls, and we're like, hmm, that actually does sound really good. Isn't that a weird thing to suggest? Hey, guys, let's let's spend some quality time together and make cinnamon rolls. Uh, yeah. So the Cinnabon ones, the Pillsbury ones, the orange ones. Mm -hmm. Did, you, you can't hate it, and there's nothing wrong with uh, a couple bros picking up some cinnamon rolls and building Legos. Excuse me. That sounds very wholesome. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I, there's just probably something really terrible. I feel like out there on the internet. The, the picture that you just drew up was like, uh, you know, that Thanksgiving dinner photo that Deadpool used for the marketing campaign, where it's like the family around the table with the turkey, and then there's like Deadpool right there in the background. That that would be the image for us. Like it'd be three guys, you know, helping each other out over the oven, and there's Deadpool popping out of the oven. Okay, I'm done. What do I win? Nothing. You just won the mute option. Don't talk. All right. There we go. Do we have... Here we go. Here's this one. You know, I mean, this was a cool little mini set here. I mean, you get two fallen troopers. All right, but be honest. Like, are you going to keep that thing together? Because honestly, the ship looks stupid. It's... You only you only get that set for the minifigures. The thing... The, here's... Okay, so back... 
I was uh, explaining how like my mom purged like ninety eight percent of all Legos in the house. Yes. Um, and it was like a couple of I don't know maybe man, a little bit longer now at this point, but like a few years ago, uh, I was kind of going through stuff, you know, get rid of you know downsize, get rid of stuff, and I found that um, a Rubbermaid container underneath my bed. And it had a bunch of uh, these like Legos in it. Oh, okay. Sorry, that's not what I thought you were going to say. And uh, so I open it up. Uh, I've got a crap ton of droids, droid troopers. Okay. Um, I actually ended up having, I think, 90, a little over 90% of the original uh, droid tank uh, in there. That's kind of fun. Yeah, and I was able to pull up the, uh, the instructions for that on the internet. I wouldn't say it's like a... 100 like an accurate you know build but i was able to put it together and it's got the general appearance um i had all the point uh parts for a lego uh droid deca um so have you, yeah have you seen my, my my droid army i've seen like a little teasers down here i know you got a bunch of the droid ships down you know here. i have like 60 more battle droids <laughs> So, you, I can I guess I could bring them all up. I've got two MMTs, which are those brown tanks from the Phantom Menace. Each one of those has, I think, eight droids in it, so that's 16. i got a droid carrier here with 12. I've got two uh, troop transports with, like, eight super battle droids, two Hellfire droids, a snail droid, a Confederate ATT uh, droid fighter there, stat fighter. I've got, like, 120 droid army. You know. yeah, so because I didn't have friends growing up, Jesse. So I spent money on Legos, made me feel better. I had friends. Shut up. Um, honestly, probably the little speeder will stay together, but it will get uh, probably placed in the in a Ziploc bag into the box, um, and then I'll probably just like little mini mocks, you know, the scene with you know. Like I respect you. I just think it's crazy to put it back in the box. That's well, what am I supposed to do? I mean, I that's what I'm saying. Is what are you supposed to do with that? It's it's not a real ship. It's it's just a, a conglomerate of pieces that they made. They got you to spend money on because you you again you pay for that set so you get those minifigures. Like you get it for Keanu. Oh, okay, movie. but arguably right now, if you were to buy the clone troopers right now, like one of these little uh, rascals is going for uh, like five bucks. Okay. And so, at the very minimal, you've got ten bucks right here, worth in, in clone troopers. Uh, if you're well, serving... the first phase of the first phase trooper, yeah. I don't know if those ones that came out a year ago were going for five. Do so, you, do you have that confirmed? I, I well, I'm just saying. I was just kind of like, this is about the minifigures. <clears throat> I'm just trying to hold everybody accountable. That's what I do. I here. think you're just jealous that I finished my build before you. Oh, I'm not jealous. <laughs> I'm on step number 54, page 30 out of uh, 158. I might actually send you with my credit card to go buy more Lego sets for us to build. <laughs> We're kind of at that point. All right, here's this. Uh, we got Miss Hustle. She likes the idea of cinnamon rolls. Today? Or orange or regular? Uh, orange or regular, Miss Hustle. And she also says the tiny figures is cute. So, I don't like to describe my Legos as cute. Miss Hustle, I like to think of them as <laughs> handsome. Manly. 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 <laughs> I don't know. I mean, for it's... You don't have to defend yourself. I'm only giving you a joke. No, I'm just saying... Some people are like, oh, you know, what are these bunch of grown guys doing building Legos? That's literally what I call this video. <laughs> Watch <laughs> grown men build live Star Wars. Seriously? <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Uh... That's, that's, I don't know. I mean, there's just something, you know, um, it's like a tip of the hat to your childhood kind of thing. Um, tip of the hat? We haven't grown up yet. I think collector-wise, I mean, oh. it's, I think at some point, yeah, like a UCS uh, Slave 1, that's kind of, that's a shelf piece. That's really not something you give to like a 10-year-old kid and go, here, go play with this. There is a Lego collectors group on Facebook that I follow where this guy has like marble pillar things that he sets his sets on they're like i don't know four and a half five feet tall and they're display pillars yeah for his ucs builds and i'm like that is lego just released an, another one it's the ucs y-wing i saw that it looks it look, it's really nice but again it's a 200 dollars price point and i'm sitting here going 
Okay, that looks like far less pieces than what was uh, for the Slave 1, and the Slave 1's a huge ship. Like, why is that $200? It's because it gets so intricate with it. I'll tell you, the, the UCS I think looks really cool, but I've always been obsessed with this ship, is the uh, Snow Speeder from uh, Empire Strikes Back. I really want to get that set, but it's like... You know, my my enjoyment of Star Wars Legos has wavered over the last couple of years. Like, I really enjoy the Rogue One wave. Um, kicking myself in the butt still for not getting that uh, Trooper Transport. Trying to find that online right now. Um, but the last Jedi sets really didn't do much for me. So I really gravitated towards, like, the Lego collector sets. Mm -hmm. Where um, the, the collector Lego sets, like, the Parisian restaurant and the detective's office and the bank and... All those things. I enjoy those sets, and those are like... Those are impressive. Those are expensive. They're like 150, 160 I, sets. I said impressive, but they are expensive, too. No, they are. Well, um, maybe I should do a tour or something. I'm, I just always feel weird doing anything that's not Star Wars related on the channel, but, you know, I've got uh, the theater as well. I've got three of the buildings, and they're really cool. I, I like to see how they kind of evolve over time. Would you buy a $200 in tiny pieces of Lego to give to a child? I think they are making them... For the grown up too. Everyone, who would buy a two hundred dollars in tiny pieces of Lego? Oh, okay. Yeah, I get what you're saying, Miss Hustle. Yeah. I mean, there was a time where we were contemplating if we all went, if when Nick was still here, if we all went in two hundred dollars, we could have gotten the UCS Millennium Falcon, which would be a really probably would have been about the size of the table. Yeah. Here, I think. For have, the... have you seen it yet? Yeah. Like in person. It's massive. It's it's the size of this table. Yeah. Um, it is bigger than a card table. And what would, did, did we get? What was the piece count on that? Was, does anybody remember? Five thousand, uh, no. fifty-seven hundred. No, that was the Taj Mahal. It was like eighty-five hundred, eighty-three hundred. You're right. Or was it in the eight thousands or seven? Oh, I'll look yeah. it up. I think, I think it was. Um, look, I, man, I mine's remember. got a little swingy thing doohickey on it now. Look at that. Look at that. hey, look. Oh, that's cool. Yep. Yeah, that that mechanism for the landing gears probably. Yeah. That's kind of neat. You see us. Miss Hustle says French problem. So Miss Hustle, can you speak French too? I mean, I'm assuming you can. But she said we're in Canada. I've been to Vancouver. They had a nice airport. You know, the crappy thing is like right now the UCS uh, Falcon, it's like technically out of stock. Like they're sold out right now on these. And um, all the people that like have bought like a couple of them, mm -hmm. like they may, they're probably like keeping one from them, themselves. But the extra one they're selling, like right now, I'm on Walmart.com. Yeah. And you know they pull stuff from like online too. Right now, going price for a UCS uh, Millennium Falcon is twelve hundred dollars. It ain't worth it. It is not worth it. Uh, piece count for this uh, for that set is seven thousand five hundred and forty one pieces. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought it was eight. That's uh, still like fifty percent bigger than the Taj Mahal, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And Check what was it? It was a two thousand pieces that I said that the slave one mm -hmm. was earlier. And that took me fifteen hours to do by myself. So you could probably. Oh, people are posting online that it it's taking them like days. Yeah, it's a pretty you know If I paid eight hundred dollars for a Lego set, I would want to take as much time as I could to build it. I'd take a vacation week for it. Why not? <laughs> I I could I could be talking to that. What did you do on your vacation? I built the UCS Millennium Falcon. <laughs> Am I missing a Lego? See, you, know, you you ever feel like you're you're looking for a piece? This is why you mold the pieces. And out, like David. it's like. It's like right there in front of you. I don't because I sort my Legos out like, you know, a normal human being. All right. All right, guys. Real fun. Um, you should just be happy that we're razzing you on a PG level right now. <laughs> yeah, we can't. No swearing. Still got three. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm on the other side of... Uh, she's under Quebec. Ah. On the other side. Oh, she called you Gilbert. That's cute. Hi, sweetie. Oh, Jordan's playing Call of Duty. I feel like Jordan, you've been playing that game for like five years. I feel like that's like the game you played in our dorm room. Uh, I gave up on Call of Duty after the first Black Ops. Yeah. Yeah, it's just the, the franchise kind of went down, went downhill after that. 
you know what? Let's make this a little bit more interesting. Put this guy front and center. I see how it is. You want to you want to downplay my my awesome battle pack that I put together before you. No, I I just want something in the in the shot because like right now people are watching and it's oh, like. That's nice. I am actually jealous that he has this because this is like a really cool um, phone, little battery. Yep. <clears throat> Don't worry about it. I'm worried about it. Just you have this like control issue. I have, well, yeah. You do. I do. I'll watch the thing. Oh. You don't need to watch anything. I don't have anything to build. Is that like, yes. This is, this is a Lego set. That he has here. It's the. Uh, oh, this is gonna be really cool. I, you know, these transports were like one of the coolest things I, I loved about the Clone Wars, just in general. The sound, like their general sound and just their purpose. Their sound? Yeah, like just the, the sound of the ship, um, the beam cannons and, and everything. The sound of the ship, he says. Dude, you get. I love a lot of different things about Star Wars. Um, he doesn't like it when we give him trouble because he always gets really, really defensive. You notice that in the shows? He's picking. He's picking. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. You guys build real quick. I'll be right back. See, see, that's the kind. Of, it kind of works now. We got the couple clones on the ground here. And... So how's Critic Shuttle going there? It's going really cool. I'm going to pass this over to you, Jesse, so you can show it up closer. Okay. But now I've got a little more of the module here. You can see where uh, Krennic's going to be standing, I guess. So you're, and, you're uh, kind of working more panel. like on the, uh, the whole and cargo. And kind of here's the landing gear that just kind of slides together. Ooh, that's nice. Which is really kind of cool. So I'll, I'll show that over to you so you can show it up to... So this is what's changed a lot with Lego from when I was a kid. You didn't have all the a lot of these moving parts, but uh, as you can see, the landing gear, um, he's got that going on. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's that's pretty pretty cool. You got a lot of detailed panels here, and those are st stickered for the most part, right? Uh, yes, they are. There's one of them that came pre-printed. Is that is is it the, that's uh, that's that one, and all the rest I had to put the stickers on. I don't like putting the stickers okay, on. I'm not very coordinated. I don't get them straight all the time. Yeah, I would say that's the big thing that with the newer sets is they they well the stickers are nice and you get that nice little detail of a piece. Um, I kind of miss the, the old in the old days they used to print the uh, those little details on the flat pieces. I hate the stickers. Yeah, that's. Is that unanimous? Uh, you missed. I now have um, uh, a coordinated landing gear. That's pretty cool. How happy are you with that set? I'm very happy with this set. It's pretty cool. And it's I, one of the cool ships. I and think. I've been waiting since November to build this with you guys. Just like you've been hanging on to those plumbing since parts. June. <laughs> June. Jesse. Oh, I'm getting really fed up. Where's this damn motor? Is ha, I found it. All right. So now, how are we doing on time? Like. I have nothing until 4 o'clock. Okay. I don't think we'll straighten that long. How many live viewers do we have right now? Uh, nope, screw that up. We have three watching at the moment. All right, that's cool. So I think our most was six, which is, you know, Saturday morning. People were out doing their thing. This was kind of a spontaneous thing. We were, you know, it was just like, hey, let's, let's kind of throw something yeah. out there, you know. Uh, who do we have? We still have Miss Hustle. Yeah, Miss Hustle, I think, is still... Uh... I think Jordan is playing Call of Duty still. Yeah. Jordan, you still with us, buddy? We call we call them lurkers. I miss I miss you, lover boy. Do you remember him at Lindenwood or Simo? Lindenwood. He put up with me. I think that's the that's the thing that's the fairest <laughs> way to say it. Because I didn't think you spent much time in your uh, dorm at Simo. No, I spent most of mine over at your place. David's college interview was. Do you have any questions for us, David? Yeah. Do you have anybody that can room with me that can put up with me? Uh, Jordan and I met, so we met, uh, we did a uh, TV at school, mm -hmm. and then I don't even know how that conversation got started. I think he and I were just, like, good friends. We'd have, like, lunch over the course of the semester, and then somehow we ended up being roommates. Because I think we were trying to coordinate with other people at the radio station. Because we were doing, I was doing radio and TV at the time. 
Yeah, I kind of wish I would have done like the dorm, the dorm thing in college because like I did a year at uh, John Wood. Yeah. And then I transferred to, to Carbondale, and because I transferred, it allowed me to get an apartment instead of being like sticking to the uni university rules that you, freshmen and sophomores. You didn't miss. In my opinion, you didn't miss much. I think it's it's definitely like more cost effective to do an apartment, but I think you miss out on campus culture. Can't that well? That's me. A little bit of social, like meet, meeting people, kind of thing. Oh, like you're awkward, or that you wanted to meet yeah. people. Yeah. Okay. Well, no, that wasn't a slam. I didn't know what he was saying. I'm awkward. I'm proud to be awkward. You are a little awkward. It's fine. I'm now on bag three out of seven. Yay! And Jesse's still finished. So, if you want to take it apart and reassemble it, would that make you feel more including, Jesse? <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna. How be many chat reader? How many times can you take it apart and put it back together before I'm done? Mm. I'm trying to find out. I'm trying to multitask here and build like multiple of these things at the same time. And yeah, the only downside about the Vader build is it, it is a little repetitive. <laughs> I obviously I really don't mind it. Which one are you building, David? The Vader transformation. Oh. See, but I like it, because, like, look, I mean, like, I build... This we, hustle says we are all awkward and in a sort of way. Where we get Definitely. that... I think everybody has their little little quirks and everything, so... That's the scene where we get that awful... No. Yeah, the worst yeah. moment in the Star Wars prequel trilogy. Or you can be like Zuckerberg and drink your water like an android. Well, wait, so what's a, what's the worst moment in the prequels? Vader's no, or I'm truly, deeply, madly in love with you. His, his no, at the very end there, is, uh... Yeah. Is that is that the worst one? For no. me, I think that's uh, just the way it was. No! I would have preferred a, um, a non-verbal word, like, you know, because he's like, angry yell kind of thing, but no. I would like, not have yelled no. It would have been some four-letter expletive. <laughs> Dang it! Oh, drat. That'd be okay, funny. I was okay with that. Pad, Padme's dead. I Dang just it! I didn't want, like, the no in it. Like, I think it would have been... More meaningful uh, without the no in there. Well, um, here, the idea is that Frankenstein. I mean, the the influence was Frankenstein, like coming to life. Yeah. But it was really just poorly executed. And like James Earl Jones, you're better than that, man. How boring would it be to be all this, to all be the same? I don't know. I think the clone troopers did okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm kind of curious about is like, how much longer can James Earl Jones realistically be? Vader. I don't care. Well, considering that he just you know the voice portion, I, I I don't care how long he's Vader. I want he will always be Vader. No, no, no. But like I'm saying, like legitimately, like oh, for until he dies. But like it, even in Rogue One, I will say like in theaters it didn't sound as good on on the home release. It sounded better. But like there's moments where you can hear like it's an 80 year old James Earl Jones trying to do the Vader voice. And I am okay with that as long as it's still James Earl Jones. Well, it was probably because, you know, when Krennic, you know, spoke to him, uh, I mean, he was right out of the back to tank, and, you know. Oh, you think he was still, like, adjusting himself? Yeah, it was, like, uh, still, like, you know, you know how you're all, like, raspy and crappy sounding in the morning when you get up? Nope. Right, it's not 40 years later that we're finally here. So, now, if you uh, can see, this is the ring that's kind of taking shape. It's pretty cool. Kind of the ring here. I'm really enjoying this. There's your frisbee. Thank you. Don't insult my Legos. This really is a nice little. It, I was happy with it because it's. You get you get Vader. You get a new the new Vader. You get Palpatine. Um, you get to construct some droids and everything. It's. Yeah, it's a cool set and like the ch the carbon freezing chamber is kind of along the same lines. Um, no, I would have actually, I would have liked it for the carbon freezing chamber to actually have been like a full circle thing, but. I'm looking for a piece here. Where is the piece? Where is the piece? Here you go. What's going on in the chat? Anything? Uh, nothing at the moment. Our last comment was from uh, Miss Hustle asking how boring it would be to all be the same. Um... <clears throat> Decision making would be quick. Ooh, good point. That's why my work wardrobe, it's like three versions of the same thing. 
We've uh -huh. all noticed. All those who come to the store notice. <laughs> it just, it's so much easier, you know? Uh, Darth Vader. Believe me, I asked if I could wear the wear my armor in the neon. You know, they said no. Yeah. At Hobby Lobby? Yeah, I joked around with it with my boss one day. He's like, I probably wouldn't have a problem with it, but uh, the higher-ups probably would. They probably think you're some Satan worshiper. Hey, we got some doozies. <clears throat> the holiday season was terrible because... You know, as you guys know, in the retail world, every company has policies and things like that, uh, and rules and the, and whatnot. Um, for two weeks solid, um, some local SWJs were harassing us because um, the Salvation Army bell ringers were having to stand outside when we had some of those like kind of cold, wet, dreary days. Um, I really can't wait till our video goes viral because a uh, Hobby Lobby employee was bashing uh, SWJs. What's an SWJ? Or SW Social Justice Warrior. Yeah. Oh. You know, so it's just like, I mean, we actually had some people be really just rude to us. And it was just like, that's actually not our, like, it's partially our rule. Um, but it's also partially Salvation Army's rule that they have to stay outside it unless it's actually, like, it's. So many uh, degrees below temperature and uh, rain. They, they want your pity money. Yeah. You, like your father, are now mine. Shut up. Yeah, I need, I need two of these things. Um, see, see that abuse he's throwing it at me? You want to start that? I guess I finish this before you finish that. Huh? There's not a chance. I think there's some smack talk going on. Oh, wait. Well, you know what, though? Actually, Jesse, maybe we don't get that started because I'm going to have to probably, we're going to have to probably wrap up here in the next 15. So maybe maybe it's best that we don't do that. You can just still be our mom. I'm sorry for getting you excited. Next you time. got my hopes all up. Next time. I just looked at the, the time, and I realized that we didn't have that much I feel much like left. Nick really missed out. This looks like a fun little build. I don't even think Nick realizes that the set is even still here. I think Nick's going to watch this show and be like, hey. Dude, Nick's going to be offended. And I'm sorry, Nick, in advance. I still love you, buddy. I miss your pew 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 pew. We had some good times. We, uh, what, so what are we saying? Like, the first year is like the first season of our show, so like, season two starts in May. I don't know, we did some rebranding with our thumbnails and stuff on mm -hmm. YouTube in December yep. for the new year. Is that season two? Uh, I guess it would have made more sense to do it that way, but we didn't. Do we need a theme song or a jingle? Kevin Riddell says, hey guys. Hey Kevin, how's it going? Hey Kevin. Hey Kevin, what's up? Thanks for joining us, man. We are uh, trying to build here successfully. Yeah, what we got going on is uh, Amelotti is putting together Darth Vader's Transformation uh, Medical uh, Center. Uh, and then uh, David Gilbert is working on Director Krennic's shuttle. Um, we were we tried to hunt down some of the solo uh, Lego sets that were supposed to drop yesterday. I picked up, uh, they only had the uh, Clone Trooper Battle Pack, which is already together. It's kind of down here in the front. Can't. I'm mad at myself. Uh. How many pieces do you guys have in your builds? Um, the battle pack was 102 pieces. So I mean, if I I could have pulled a David and dumped all the pieces out and had it together probably in like five minutes. Um, what's the piece count on uh, Vader's transformation? Does it say? On the cover it says on the box. I threw the box over there. Uh, Vader's transformations got 282. Craddock Shuttle has 863. 863. I like how it's all like we're just like one, trying to like one up each other. Uh, well, mine has this many pieces. We were going to try to put the Republic tank together, which is uh, 305 pieces, but we're going to hold off on that one. Yeah, we're just running out of time. I don't want to get started with something. What the F? Well, not all the... 
we call them solo sets because that's when they they dropped and everything. Um, How I mean, solo, not like individual person solo. Yeah, I mean this is this is a Clone Wars set. If you see the box here, it's got two clone troopers, Kiati Mundi and uh, Barris Afi. So I mean, some of it, you know, it's just worthwhile. There's a really cool. Um, the newest uh, edition of the TIE Fighter uh, is out. It looks really nice. Oh, hey, okay, so I have a question. Kylo Ren's TIE Silencer is out now for 50 bucks at Walmart. Do I get it for 50 bucks? That's a legitimate question. It yeah, was like shit. 80, right? Yeah. I'd say it's probably on, on par with uh, Krennic Shuttle. It's probably her size, size build yeah, okay. and everything. I was going to say, I don't think... I think Krennic Shuttle was maybe the coolest ship we've gotten. See, Kevin says he's he's definitely going to probably pick up Yoda's hut. Uh, I'll probably pick that up, too. Uh, he's oh. also saying get Kylo's TIE Fighter. He says probably, but Jesse has been talking about that hut for like the last 48 hours often. He's going to buy that hut. I, you should buy the hut. I'm tempted to buy two and do the same thing I did to the Octu 2 build. Yeah, build it out a little bit. Well, I um, mean, like, a complete, like, I don't know, this, is, this looks better. <laughs> yeah. I have, uh, there was an X-Men that came out in the mid-2000s, early 2000s. It was the X, it was the Swamp X-Wing yeah. with the hut, and that's where I got it. It's cool. It's cool. And I think, I think it's, uh, we all agree, the, the new... The the solo Falcon actually looks pretty cool. Um, oh yeah, like I I really <clears throat> wish I, I I don't know I really want to get it. I really want to get it. It looks I just think it's cool to see that ship and then to know that we were kind of right. You know, on the show we speculated that that the front is an escape pod or escape shuttle of some sort. We yeah escape pod or cargo hold or something so. Reason why. Um. Do I have time to finish this bag, David? I, close. Yeah, I think so. I'm gonna put this through here. I don't. I'm curious to find out if I get done with my thing. Um. There is a piece I'm supposed to put right here. You want to mold your parts out like a? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I always love when the peanut gallery likes to criticize. That is the second time I've heard that today, or this week, at a peanut gallery. Uh, <laughs> we were, uh... What does that tell you? Well, no, whole, like, I was at work the other day, and uh, the co-manager uh, did a customer carryout on a furniture piece, and uh, a couple of the other guys and I were giving him a hard time about it. He's just like, I don't need all that from the peanut gallery. <laughs> I, I love my job. I have a lot of a lot of fun coworkers, actually. Andre actually, two point oh. Hey, what's happening, dude? Andre is on there. He's a good guy. Hey, bud. We uh, we I think we met uh in a chat on some other live stream, and he just he found our show, and he's always been, he's always been faithful. Watches every episode. New episodes gonna drop tomorrow. Pretty excited for everyone to see that. It's a good episode. Doing that weekly giveaway, so be sure that you watch tomorrow's episode. Uh, because we're giving away a free uh, Icon variant. It's a Han Solo cover commemorating the new Solo movie. And that movie, is, that comic book is free. And we'll have a weekly giveaway from here on out. Thanks to our good friends over at the Maplewood Fantasy Shop. That's a comic book shop in St. Louis, Missouri. And, uh, this is the first giveaway from uh, since the sponsorship, isn't it? Yeah. That's awesome. Um, Andre, what... What we're doing is um, David Gilbert is working on uh, the Lego Director Krennix uh, shuttle. Let's show the box. Um, he's on. You're like on bag number two, aren't you? I'm on bag number three. Bag number three. For this big boy. Um, I don't know how you, I feel about you saying big boy. Uh, Amalati is working on uh, Darth Vader's transformation uh, platform. Um, <laughs> What are you laughing about? Uh, because Miss Hustle goes, that is dot 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 a big boy. <laughs> wow. Wow. I'm uncomfortable. Um, and then I put together the new Clone Wars uh, Clone Trooper Battle Pack. Um, 
I mainly got it because the minifigures look pretty cool. I like Kiati Moody. He's one of my favorite guys. Yeah, I, you know, that's actually something I've noticed lately. And, you know, like, when I was a kid, you just would have had that. <laughs> there would have been no headpiece or anything like that, so. I remember being in high school and reading, uh, the Star Wars database, this is before Wikipedia came out. Oh, yeah. It's on StarWars.com. And reading an article on EU on that guy and how his species was so rare that he was one of the few Jedi who was allowed to uh, go procreate once a year to try to preserve his species. I'm sure they probably retconned that. <laughs> probably, yeah. Uh, Contender is asking what we were building. Uh, Director Krennic shuttle, uh, Darth Vader transformation, and... I had the smallest set or build. It was the Clone Trooper Battle Pack that just came out. It was the smallest of sets. Uh, Miss Hustle, but did you like the Flash? Zoom. And then we got uh, another comment from Andre 2.0. What about the droid attack on the Wookiees? I'm getting some uh, good old quotes there. Uh, yeah. Uh, he's asking, is anybody building the Republic tank? Um, originally, I think I was going to do that. Um, we, just, we just waited too long. A little bit of a just kind of time crunch, so we'll do another one of these builds. So maybe we'll, we'll save that for another another build day. I think so. I, I'm either getting a U-Wing or I'm getting that TIE Fighter, so. Oh. Uh, Miss Hustle's asking, did I buy it because it was smallest or because it was the, I, the figures? Uh, I have a fascination with... Uh, Clone Troopers, anything like anything that has to do with Jango Fett, Boba Fett, Clone Troopers, Mandalorians. Uh, so it's kind of like a fetish. Yeah, like um, mainly I, I was needing uh, for this little like for display purposes. Um, I was needing some Clone Troopers to kind of fill out because I've got stuff from uh, Episode One, uh, and then I've got this will help kind of fill out my uh, Attack of the Clones. Uh, kind of moment, so I kind of have like a, a set from each movie at this point, which is uh, which is kind of cool. It definitely had nothing to do with the, with the uh, the size of the build. It was definitely for the uh, for the minifigures. We're making we're making some progress here. Really excited about it. I think this clone trooper's drunk. He doesn't want to stand. Oh, what the frick, Frank? Okay. That was a curveball. Okay, so I gotta come down here with this. Something's not right. Yeah, I think once I have my own place, I, I'm gonna have some really crazy, awesome stuff on display. Like, I think my living room will be like a, uh, I don't know, like a monument to nerd culture, primarily Star Wars culture, but. <laughs> What I want to get my hands on is a uh, a mannequin, yeah. So I can actually uh, store my 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 uh, cosplay okay. on there. All right. Um, I missed a piece somewhere. Whoopsies! How many viewers we have right now? Uh, we're sitting at six uh, viewers. Oh, cool. we got six people hanging out. Be sure, uh, everybody, say hi in the comments below. Let us know that you're watching. If you haven't already, sub us up. Give us a thumbs up. Share with us on uh, share us on your Facebook, Twitter, whatever. Just just, just help us out. We just want to meet a lot of cool people. Uh, yeah, exactly, Miss Hustle. It's a good way to store it. Um, right now, like, it's funny. You open up my closet, and there's actually three different flak vests. <laughs> It's like the first thing you see is basically Mandalorian armor hanging in the closet. You would think that's what I wore every day. I feel bad. Was that a joke that I missed? You started laughing. Uh, we got Lord Vicus. Uh, what's up, guys? Glad to see another live stream going. Yeah, we definitely plan on trying to get more of these going. Uh, I think we were uh, just discussing a little bit of that, you and I, David, last night about webcam coming soon. <sighs> yeah, so I'm pretty excited about it. Um, we thought for a while that the camera that we had would work, and it, it won't work. But then, like, common sense idea would just be find a really nice HD webcam. So, right now we're going to get one, but I'm researching a way. Like, we could probably do multi-point where, yeah. you know, like, I get mine, you get yours, David get his, and then we can set that up. 
and then we could have close-up shots. It probably would require um, a restructuring of the set that we know it. So um, for those of you who don't know, I'm going to be getting a new studio. Uh, we're getting a new studio in about two months. And so in that new studio, we're going to have things set up a little bit differently where I'll actually have my computer here and I'll be a little higher up. And then we'll have the table that you see here and um, it'll be set up for four people. Um, but I'll have my computer here because while we're doing this show, I'll be queuing up graphics and we'll be you know, running you know, video and stuff. So really excited for that. That's two months away. Once we get into that new area, it's going to be sound treated. Um, I'm really excited because it's also going to allow us, this new location is going to allow us the ability to uh, do phoners. So like Steve Hyman, you see him at all the... He's uh, our field guy, pretty much. Well, he's like, he's like, the, he's like our fourth, he's our, he's our fourth guy who just, he's not here because he lives in St. Louis, but you know, you see him in all those con videos. He'll be calling in now. We'll be able to do guest interviews. Um, we've already got one pretty much locked in. So I think it's really going to surprise you just how cool this first interview is. Um, but more on that once we get into the, the, the new location, uh, you know, season two, Beyond the Blast Doors. Miss Hessel says, David, don't be mean. <laughs> what was I mean? Um, and then Andre 2.0 uh, is asking, uh, will we get any of the new solo sets? Um, we, we've been trying. Uh, yeah, uh, David and I went out to Walmart last night uh, in hopes that they would have them. And the only new set uh, from uh, that released yesterday was the uh, Clone Battle Pack. Uh, and David heard a rumor that our Walmart is kind of behind on stocking their shelves uh, this week apparently so we may we may head back out there uh, over the next couple days to uh, to look at. I was actually kind of hoping to pick up uh, the new TIE Fighter um, because I'm actually missing a uh, a New Hope theme set and that TIE Fighter is kind of like a universal set for uh, you know I am now done with bag three Jesse, if you Ooh. want to show that off there, okay, so, oh. since you're close, we got a. Uh, so we've got what is that? The fin on it there. That and it looks like he's got the uh, the ramp, which moves and everything. And that uh, really that come along. That takes me to the uh, step ninety seven, on page fifty seven out of I guess there's some advertisements back here, one hundred and fifty three. <laughs> So about a third of the way done. Well, you want a cookie or what? Oh no. You just well, cinnamon roll would just nice. a mess. I'm like grind the struggle bus today, guys. I yeah, you know, I actually I dropped a key piece when I was building the slave one. I actually had to stop all operations because I didn't see where it went. Like I was panicking. I was like, oh my gosh. I like how you call it operations. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't have the uh, I don't have the stuff. We're gonna have to do cinnamon rolls next time. That's gonna be our our commitment. Well do I wait until we get back together again for another live build or do I keep going and show it off on our next episode? I think you're just gonna leave it here and then you're just gonna pick back up. I can do that. You get crabby. And look at the bright side, you know, if our Walmart decides to uh, catch up, I can have a larger set on hand. Andre 2.0 wants to know if you've put the minifigures together yet. Uh, have I? Krennic shuttle. I have. I had, uh, hold on here. Send them over to you. I got two little uh, troopers there, and uh, I've also got Director Krennic that you want to be able to do. And okay, so uh, looks like uh, Krennic shuttle obviously came with uh, Director Krennic. It just looks like Ben Mendelsohn. Even the eyebrows are brown to it's match. It's really a nice hair. hair piece. Yeah. It's better than, uh, well, I'll, I'll leave that one out. I don't want us to get flagged for a political comment. What? Oh, I'm not going to say it. Oh, Trump? Yeah. <laughs> uh, here's one of the, he's going to be hard to see, for, you know, lighting and everything. But, yeah, it's a pretty cool uh, Death Trooper piece. I've got uh, 
I think this, are these, these are shoulder pauldrons. I think you've got the pauldrons off to the side. Is that what they are? Yeah. I put them on as a cape. There we go. I got you. I got you, buddy. Obviously, I can't read directions very well. Uh, and then Andre 2.0 is asking, uh, or no, Lord, excuse me, Lord Vicus is asking if I have any other cosplays. Uh, at the moment, uh, it's just the Mandalorian cosplay. Um, it's something I've been working on. I want to say it's going on three years is how long as I've been building it. I started with the helmet. Um, I kind of got the helmet uh, the beginning of... Man, I might, that might be four years, actually. I know that I got the helmet and then it got really cold out and you're not... Because it's polyurethane cast, you can't work on it in cold weather because using a Dremel and everything it can cause that to crack. Um, so I actually spent probably a good eight months researching everything. I put the helmet together, did more research, built um, version 1.0 of my armor, um, which was out of out of two millimeter, uh, no, three millimeter Sintra uh, plastic. Um, and I wore that to PAX South uh, 2015, I think. Yeah, I might have my timelines wrong, but... Uh, But uh, that first little uh, run with it, I discovered that I couldn't sit down. I couldn't. Uh, there was a lot of uh, comfort uh, issues. So I spent basically the last two years um, fixing those issues. Um, I'm also slowly working towards uh, getting official membership into the Mandalorian Merc Costume Club, which is a Disney recognized uh, Star Wars charity group. Uh, a bunch of fantastic people uh, over there. Um, what was that thing we were talking about, like, a month ago or something, where it was, like, uh, religious groups giving to charity, and then Jesse's like, well, you know, actually, the Mandalorian Mergs, they give to charity. <laughs> what was that? Oh, well, yeah, I, I kind of vaguely remember that. Like, it was, like, the most non-related Mandalorian Merc conversation oh, ever. I know. And, my God, did Jesse find a way to make it happen. <laughs> um... But I'm getting really close to actually, uh, honestly, a cosplay is never truly finished and everything. You just get to a point to where you're able to actually move on to another project. Uh, we're getting close to that. I think I want to do a Grey Jedi um, probably next, which is just uh, easier. Uh, obviously, kind of a more casual uh, comfort uh, sort of cosplay. I'm also an avid video gamer. I play a lot of different games, so I'm thinking I'm going to do kind of maybe a, possibly a Dark Souls uh, Viking kind of influenced uh, build next. Uh, but th that's going to be like, I go, it's go big or go home. And, you know, like I'm going to do this legit. And uh, I think for that build, I'm going to have to actually learn some sewing uh, abilities. So. It's just doing the research. Don't choke on your aspirations. This hustle says that you are super concentrating right now on your Vader build. I am so focused. This is the be I'm having the best time. And uh, David Gilbert is choking the crap out of Krennic with uh, Don't David. Don't choke on your aspirations, director. He's reenacting row one over here. I think I did this wrong. That, that could be a problem. We'll, we'll figure that out later. All right, cool. So we have this thing, we have this thing, and that goes here, and this goes here. Isn't this crazy? This is going to take no time See, Lord Vicus says he's been working on a Darth Revan for the last two Dude, years. Dude, you got to send us photos of that, man. That would be epic to see that completely. I have seen... There was a really fantastic one at Pack South when I was there. It was really good. Um, definitely one of my favorite characters. Uh, I would love to at some point see him actually get official... Uh, acceptance into the canon. It would be great to see him in maybe that uh, John Favreau TV series that's coming to come yeah. out. Are we going to the Wizard World in Des Moines in June? Uh, I don't want to say yes, but I don't want to say no. I want to say it's definitely possible. I've got availability that weekend. I took a couple vacation days just in case. So, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll figure it out. Uh, maybe get in touch with... Uh, 
our underworld contacts and uh, see what we can do there. I want to go back and visit the artists again. I feel like I didn't spend enough time there. Yeah, that was, for St. me, Louis. when we went to Wizard World in St. Louis uh, back in February, to me that was like the most underappreciated area because we met uh, some really cool guys back there and got a lot of cool art. I would show you some of that art, but it's kind of inappropriate. Well, it's actually, yeah, you can actually see one of the pieces that he picked up. Uh, you picked up the Leia there, right? Yep. Uh, Leia with the butt cheek. Uh, it's a little risque slave Leia, but, I mean, it's it's a well-done piece. Are you complaining? Um, I hope you're not complaining. David's hiding, actually, uh, another one behind him. It's It's kind of a... You got an unfinished Death Star with some TIE Fighters and uh, Darth Vader and then my boy Boba Fett on there. Your boy? Yes, he's my boy. I'm your boy, Blue. Yeah, I'm your boy. I'm actually jealous of a lot of the pieces, uh, art pieces that we have. The Nathan Grandma one's still my favorite. Yeah, yeah, we've got a, uh, an original piece from Na uh, Nathan Grennell. To uh, the Beyond the Blast Doors guys. Which is kind of a. Uh, I'm not even sure. Would you. What? Is that. Would we consider that kind of a rough sketch? With, like art style that he did for us? Like, yeah, I think it's just a commission piece that he did for us. Mm -hmm. The most jealous one uh, that you have here is the uh, Mark Campbell Carrie Fisher autograph picture. Well, that is not ever going to be yours. I know. It's not for sale. Did you know if we discontinued that, that frame molding? What frame molding? That you used for that. Oh, that's stupid. It's what, it's I know because one. it's like perfect for any... Uh, I was talking to co-workers uh, of mine, uh, Stan, who's uh, he's another Star Wars nut. He's a more like strictly like movies. Mm -hmm. But like any time that we've gotten anything Star Wars related, I guess, over the last few years, it's always been this frame molding that David uh, has for this autograph uh, photograph. And it really is perfect because it has that kind of like Darth Vader helmet sheen kind of going on, mm -hmm. you know, like, that's good. Okay, so this actually, oh, okay. All right, so wait, there is something going on here. Looks like you're getting fairly close to being done. Thank you, Jesse. I'm trying really hard. Feel the pressure, buddy. Feel the pressure. Oh, this is kind of neat looking. Where's the helmet? There should be another Vader helmet. Second Vader helmet? This gets like squeezing in here. Because this comes back. And... Yeah. Okay. Well, this is underwhelming, to say the least. But... Yeah, you get the concept, you know. You lower him down and then you put the helmet on, right? I don't know about yeah. you guys, but I'm very happy with my uh, Krennic shuttle so far. Yeah, I want to figure out why my droid isn't, like, sitting down. Oh, it's supposed to be like this. That's because it's got an active piece to knock him all over when... Okay. No. It's a play set. So you press a little lever there and it knocks the droid over? No, I get the concept. Okay. I get the concept. How many, uh, are we still have people watching this? Uh, yeah, we have seven at the moment. All right, Hi guys. Uh, DF Punk has joined us, and he's subbed in like. Thank you so much for that sub and like. Uh, then we've got Sexy Fury. This is sad. What? That, that, that's all. That's all it says. Is this is sad with a uh, kind of a... Kind of like a blushing uh, emo. Wait, is it, like, it's sad that we're building Legos? Or? Uh, yeah. yeah I, what, what's with the slime? I don't get that. All right, well, I'm built. I built it. It's built. That's it. You got a lot, lot of extra pieces, pieces there, buddy. I know. That's a lot of extra pieces, isn't it? I'm a little concerned about that. I feel like you missed something. Oh, I think I just realized what I missed, too. Oh, this is about... A... Yes! Yes, I just figured out my problem. Okay, so these two pieces are supposed to go... Don't ever let David build a building for you. Listen, guys, I'm... I a... forgot the support themes on this one. <laughs> Where did I put those stairs? Uh, let's see, Lord Viking, he says he's got some uh, work in progress picks. Dude, totally hit us up. Share those, man. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, that makes the world of difference right there. Miss Hustle says, we're not sad. Maybe the furry is having a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So, okay, so this is pretty cool because it tilts down, and then if you line them upright. Oh, well, kind of. Kind of. Maybe. Yes, no, so. Ah! <laughs> He's alive! Is that it? Well, considering that you've well, got the wrong. It doesn't matter, Jesse. I think it kind of does, buddy. Jesse, <laughs> shut up. All right. Is that it? Where's, where's this guy go? This guy just kind of goes over here. Right? That's a droid. That's Emperor Palpatine. He never had his lightsaber activated during the scene, but it's fine. And then, um, okay, cool. All right, so, all right. Hey, we did it! Right? We're happy? No? I'm getting closer. Next week I'll do some more. All right, so we have to come back and do another Lego build when Jesse and I have bigger Lego sets to build. Uh, so yeah, it's it's always fun to do these live uh, streams because it's we like uh, we like interacting with everybody and uh, taking questions and everything. As David mentioned, we've got some pretty exciting uh, studio changes coming up over the next few months. Uh, we're definitely hoping to do more of these. Um, and that's basically just kind of getting better equipment, kind of getting a better setup for it uh, going. And uh, I like how you're talking like you're in charge of it all. Cracks me up. Well, yeah, you're kind of busy adding little detail pieces in. I'm, nope, I'm covering for you. I am done. All right, so stat. So here, I'm going to put this up forward. There's my set. And this is so far what this shuttle is going to be so big. There's that. Can we see them all here? I think your box is blocking quite a bit here, Jesse. Can you put uh, your yeah, water yeah, bottle yeah, down, too? This important. <laughs> what are these days? You're just going to haul up and hit me? Oh, that's okay. We'll just kick off the show, if anything. All right. So there's the Vader transformation. There's Jesse's uh, place set. There's the first phase of David's credit shuttle. And uh, I don't know. That was a good hour and a half that we got to spend together. Mm -hmm. um, and I just want to say thanks to everyone who joined us on the Facebook, or not Facebook Live, but on the YouTube Live. Uh, be sure, if you haven't already, give us a thumbs up. Uh, hit subscribe to the channel. I know a few of you have already. Lord Vicus says, sorry, it cut off close to the... Uh, grill... Okay, so we're going to have to get rid of this guy, because he's... This guy's using profanity that we don't approve. Alright, so we're going to remove. We don't like slander in our chat. Keep it positive, Please folks. don't call people names. All right, cool. So, um, yeah, if you haven't already, go ahead and like the video and share it with people. If you know anyone who likes Legos, be sure to, uh, you know, show them what we were up to. And uh, if you like this stream, if you like seeing, watching us build the Legos and hanging out with us and just having a, a chill Saturday morning, uh, drop us comments in the below after we end the video, and then, um, and then let me know to keep doing them. Um, and the other best, the other good thing about moving over to the new studio is that fact that, you know, we're going to be able to do it like off the webcams, audio with the microphones. It's not going to be like us shouting at the device over there. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be a nicer so, setup for yeah. sure. Oh my gosh. Yeah. DF Punk coming in here. Ring the bell. So when you ring the bell on Beyond the Blast Doors videos, that allows you to get notifications every time we go live or post a new video. It's the, the YouTube algorithm is kind of wonky now. So be sure you hit that bell. So that way you know when we're about to uh, post. Andre 2.0 says keep it up. I appreciate Dude, Andre's been with us since the beginning. He's seen us at our very worst, and he's seen us get better. We're not at our best. The best is here to come. Um, and let's see. Redneck Joe is a big fat hoe. That's what his, I, his name is. Yep, his name is Jeff. All right. Well, that's this is just going really great. All right. Okay. <laughs> now it's getting inappropriate. So maybe it's the time for us to wrap it up. So... Um, that's going to do it for us. I'm going to get up and I'm at the end of the video. Do you guys have anything else you guys want to say? Thanks no, for watching. We got, what, the, the next episode Monday? No, the new episode drops tomorrow, man. Episode yeah, 34. Tomorrow. Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Monster truck ride. Every episode that we do on Beyond the Blast Doors, it always drops by 8 a.m. Central Time Monday morning, but we try and get them out uh, Sunday afternoon so that way you can enjoy them on your Sunday night. So uh, appreciate and love all you guys. Thanks for helping us out. If uh, you also want something else to be excited about, we're about to drop our very first official pin. Be sure you comment below. Let us know if you want that pin. We're going to buy 100. We sell out of the 100. We go into the next wave which uh, will be lightsaber influence. That's all I can say right now about that second wave of pins. But uh, I'm going to put my head into the shot now, and I'm going to wrap up this video, and I'm going to put my thumb right in front of the camera because apparently that's the only way we can do this. This isn't – this is I, – I don't know who this redneck Joe is, but he's really – he's really – oh, man. All right. Profanity. Profanity. It's okay. I say it all the time. See you guys. Thanks for hanging out.